Hello guys, welcome to Film Torpedo. How are you? We hope you're feeling good, but if you're feeling bad, we will improve your mood. Remember about subscribing to our channel, like this video, and comment of course. We'd be even happier if you had notifications enabled. It will help you not to miss any of our videos. Today, we're going to be talking about moments on Pawn Stars when things got hostile. Certain pieces of sports memorabilia are extremely rare and highly collectible. This fact was certainly on Rick's mind in the sixth season episode, Say It Ain't So. When a customer came into his store with a book signed by baseball player Shoeless Joe Jackson. Not only was Jackson a legendary baseball player, he was a illiterate, so his signature is incredibly rare. Being wary of this rarity, Rick asks for any documentation that may support the customer's story. To his surprise, the customer produces a letter of authentication and Rick decides to buy the book on the spot for $13,000 before the customer can change his mind and sell it somewhere else. Afterwards, Rick brings in an authenticator to see if the signature is legitimate, since he hadn't heard of the authenticator who signed the customer's letter. Unfortunately, the expert reports the signature is likely fake. Undaunted, Rick decides to send the book off to yet another authenticator. What he gets back is a laundry list of reasons to be confident that the signature is a fake. Upon hearing the news, Rick is roundly criticized by the old man Corey and even Chumley for hastily spending over $10,000 on the worthless book. In the first season episode Time Machines, a man brings in a flintlock pistol he had bought at a gun show. Seeing the potential for an interesting piece of history in his store, Corey calls in an expert in vintage firearms to appraise the value of the gun. The expert relays that if the gun is authentic, it could fetch a price upwards of $2,500. However, much to the chagrin of Corey and the customer alike, the gun is not authentic and is a modern recast of an old design that is worth about $75. The customer, obviously upset, says that the person he bought the gun from told him that it had been a family heirloom for generations. In fact, that story is what made him comfortable paying $800. Outside the store, the customer says, My wife was pissed when I bought this gun. Now, she's really gonna kill me. Being tricked into buying something fake for a grossly inflated price is a horrible situation to find oneself in. Finding out on national television isn't likely to make the situation any better. The season 5 episode, Corey's Big Play, features a customer with a set of artifacts from an Arizona prison intending to free himself of his wares. Carrying a couple of balls and chains from Yuma prison in an antique Wells Fargo strongbox, the customer hopes to leave the store with $2,000. Upon closer inspection, the balls have the prison name embossed on them, and the chains appear to have been electrically wielded, making both sets of items inauthentic recreations. Despite having some fake prison keepsakes, the strongbox passes Rick's inspection, so he begins negotiations at $400. Eventually settling at $450, Rick secures the Wells Fargo box. To determine the box's value, Rick brings in a museum administrator to appraise the box, but when it is revealed that the box is a fake, the old man chides Rick, saying he suspected the box was fake the entire time. When asked why he didn't speak up and keep Rick from wasting all that money, the old man replied, now I can holler at you. Hoping to make some money from parting with some art, a customer visits the gold and silver with a statue of Perseus and Pegasus made by Emile Louis Picoult in the second season episode, Flight of the Chum. Being familiar with Picoult's work, Rick knows that his statues are highly collectible and worth thousands of dollars. So, he gives the customer's item a thorough look. Rick immediately becomes suspicious when he finds markings on the statue that do not match the period it was produced in. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.